Hello and welcome to a new video where I am going to show you how you can um, add your own custom domain logo and everything else to Datacake. So this is called White Label and this allows you to uh, remove all the Datacake branding and have your own branding. So your own emails, your own logo, everything. So in your workspace, you find the option White Label and you can activate that on every workspace and it's just simply um, it creates a white label site so i'm going to show you how this looks so on white label there's the add white label site and there's a small um, wizard that guides you through all the necessary steps so first of all let's give it a name um, i've prepared this for um, pax counter um, white label platform like this one here i've also already set up a domain so you can buy your own domain and connect your domain um, to Datacake. So this is dashboard.paxcounter.com, the email. Um, you can set your own email, so email for registration, user registration for alerts, notification, password reset. Um, that all can be normally um, you will receive these emails from data cake but with white label everything is just labeled on your um, yeah your email provider so um, this is no reply at let's say pexcounter.com and the from name is pexcounter support um, next step and um, you're required to give in your um, um, billing information because white label costs 49 euros um, per month per white label so you can have multiple white labels and you simply buy the white label by clicking on that button here it takes a few seconds to hook that up on the back end and to go all these additional steps and now your white label site um, has been activated and here's now the settings that you need to do so um, we already connected um, the domain here. I've done that before um, on the backend side. So we need to verify the domain here. It's already verified and the DNS system has been confirmed. Normally it takes up to 24 hours for that to happen uh, at the maximum side. Um, the emails, I'm going to leave that right now here and the device types you could choose in the device types or something. So basically, um, if you are in your workspace and you press add device, you find all these options that we have, like uh, LoRaWAN, the pin code, and the zero and master brick, which is hardware that we sell, and the API devices. And on the white label side, we simply default have activated the pin code. That means you can, or your customers that are using your white label site, can add devices by providing a serial number and a pin code. So that means you could prepare devices, this one's, what else, your devices for your customers. And when you ship these devices to your customers, you could provide the pin code and the serial number um, so that they would be able to add devices on your white label site using that serial number or pin code. But you could also say, okay, I want my customers to have the lower band templates and I also want them, uh, I want that they are able to add devices using our API method. Um, this would require that your customers would um, select a plan, like in this case, and the payment system is still on our side, but um, if you want to use that kind of um, plans for your customers, please um, yeah, contact us and then we can find um, an agreement here. Okay, so you could select that. You also could leave that out. So that means that nobody, except that you are able to create devices on your customer's white label site, but not your customers, but we leave pin code in that case. Okay, um, let's go back to general. Here's the name and we also now have to define a logo. So since I've uh, gotten a logo ready, I'm going to create a quick and dirty logo for this. Is the export uh, packs logo. And we could now packs logo, upload that, save these settings. And here you've got the logo now ready. And we can also already save that. Um, and right now, your white label site is available. So that means when we open this up, we could go to dashboard 
import.packscounter.com and take some time because it's the first time. There you go. It's your white label site and your devices. And still, the logins that you are normally using for Data Cake um, are working here as well. Um, concentration, please. And um, also, your workspaces are still there and still available. So that means that you could um, have um, Data Cake as the master workspace or the master um, account, and then you could switch to um, the white label um, site afterwards. Um, yeah, or give that to your customers. So on Add Device, you just simply see the pin code here. So um, also on white label, um, the Multi-tenancy feature remains active, so that means that if you have a white label site, um, my tenant, personal tenant, let's call it that. Like if you have a white label site and if you allow your users to log on, the users on your white label site still can use the um, multi-tenancy feature. And this means that basically white label is a copy, one-to-one -one copy of Data Cake with your domain and your logo, and everything else stays intact. So basically, let's go back to um, one of my workspaces here. And for instance, we take this device here, which is the MCF88 um, particulate monitor that's standing outside here. And if we go into configuration, let's take this as an example. Let's say you've created this device and you uh, manage this device on your side. Um, we go into the configuration, copy that serial number and provide a pin code, one, two, three, four, five, six. You ship that device to your customer, your customer logs on um, his, on your white label side, he presses add device, he simply provides the serial number and the pin code and he adds that device on his white label side and then he has the device um, available in his workspace on your white label side. Um, yes, and there it is. Also, all the other functionalities, like uh, the members section. When you go into the members section, you could invite members simply um, by pressing the add uh, member uh, button and you can select the rights and permissions here and you can select the email, you simply enter the email and when you press save, the invitation will be sent to the one, the person that you want to invite but he receives an email from your email provider and not from Data Cake. Um, yeah, these are the things that white label allow you. And as you've just seen, the white label thing is super fast to set up. It's just one or two clicks and you need to, to make sure that the domain is connected and that the DNS things are um, correctly set up. And yeah, this is basically it, what White Label allows you to do. And thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, just um, ping us on any of those channels that we are on, like email, social, or um, we have in our um, Data Cake portal this real time chat where you are not speaking with any robot. It's really, um, we're receiving these messages and we are happy to answer all your questions. So, once more, thanks for watching and stay tuned.